Timothy Luke talking about Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, the 1.4 series. It's been a while since we've done one of these um, weird things like Legion hitting and people leveling and other weird things like a storm that wipes out the state that I live in. Fall made uh, making one of these a little bit lax. But catching up on time, this is the new stuff that's in 1.4. Um, 1.4 has literally been about quality of life and bug fixing stuff. So this <clears throat> new edit, um, import, send, manage versions, disable sequences and options. Options is the easiest one. It just takes you to the in-game options list. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here that you can configure and change and tweak. It tells you what plugins you're running, what plugins are available that you aren't running. Um, there's a whole bunch of debug stuff that you can turn on and off if you think things aren't working correctly. The new and edit buttons new creates a new one. It now populates your talents. You got the drop down lists for spec, you got the drop down list for step function. Edit, obviously take one like this one, edit. The changes here is that when you make a change, you need to actually go save as opposed to just close. Close won't do anything. So I've changed that to not have a step function. If I edit it, put it back, and close, it still doesn't have a step function. Edit, change, save, and there's my step function. So stuff like that. Um, Literally because the change, I took the, I had that initially, then took it away because people started complaining, and then I put it back because more people started complaining. Is what it is. Import. So if you're going a copy and paste, you got a, a macro from the website. You can just literally come in here, paste the macro in this part, hit import, and it'll load in. Send is a new function. Send basically says I want to send this macro, and it gives you a list of the macros that are there. And you can send it to anybody that you have as a whisper target that has GSE. So if you're in LFR and you've got somebody with you that's going, hey, great macro, can I have a copy of that? And they're running GSE. Um, you basically type their character name in and press send. The list, the box will filter about who you can actually whisper. Um, so who am I on? Um, trying to think. There's nobody off. Who's on my guild east? So... And it fills in off the people that you can whisper and all that kind of stuff. And it's just send. It'll go through. They'll get a message saying, receive macro from blah. And it'll be in their list. So it's it's simple. It's like that. You can't send to people that are on Battle.net. You can't send to a whole bunch of other people. You can only send to somebody that you can legitimately whisper. Um, and away it goes. So that's send stuff. Um there's been a lot of a lot of confusion about versions and disabling stuff. So I've got DB Ret. You saw that I've made oh, I've version eight. If I want to delete some of the other versions, so I can go eight, delete. Um, I don't have to delete these in order. I can delete them in any order. Seven for make active. All right. Now, so any ones that say source equals local, I can delete. All right. It's done a little bit like this as a protection against. I deleted that thing and I didn't mean to. Once you delete it, it's gone. Um, but any that come up as source equals a mod, right? If I go delete, it turns around and says you can't delete this version. This version will be reloaded as it's contained in Drake's macros. Great, fine, all right. Um, I can't delete it from that, but what I can do is I can go to Disable Sequence. And when I go to Disable Sequence, this is disabled locally. So it won't create a macro from it. It'll delete the macro stub if it's there. It won't reload in until you turn around and come back and go Enable. So, yeah, because this is part of a mod pack. Form, it gives you the control that people have been asking for. Um. They're the main bits and pieces around this. There's also a lib data broker feed. So I'm using LVUI. Um, other people are using other different pieces. So if I go data text, I think it is. Panels, uh, left chat. So down the bottom here, I've got loot, spec, whatever else. I can change that to 
GSC, it puts a GSC window up, left clip opens the sequence editor, boom, uh, right click opens the debugger, I'll talk about the debugger in another video, middle click opens up the ability to send a macro to somebody. So that's sitting there, it's, it might change to be like, uh, there might be like bubble or something else that pops up later on to say you've received a macro from blah 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 blah. Um, it's really a case of I've got the functionality there, just need someone to say what they want to do with it, if they want it at all. And that's all of that kind of stuff. So the sequence debugger I'm going to talk about in a separate video. Um, that'll be out probably later on this afternoon. The sequence debugger is literally about, it tracks your macro as it's executing. So if I, anyway, good luck, have fun, and God bless.